The governor of Okinawa, Japan, has visited Washington to discuss the relocation of a U.S. air base on its territory. A guy in H. Japan spoke to him at a news conference. The governor of Okinawa is trying to get the U.S. to withdraw its forces from the island, which hosts over 70 percent of U.S. troops stationed in Japan, or roughly 30,000 service members. The majority of the island's population wants the Americans to leave, but Tokyo has a security agreement with Washington by which they can stay. The Okinawa governor says he supports the agreement, but still wants the troops to leave, at least half of them. At a news conference, I asked him why. I think that all Japanese citizens should think about the Japan-U.S. security arrangements. U.S. military bases occupy 0.6 percent of the whole of Japan, and 70 percent of those U.S. military bases are in places where the population density is about the same as Tokyo. I don't like it anymore. You are telling me that the security system is important, but why am I against the Okinawa base? I think that you would understand if you kept 70 percent of your bases at your place. There have been many jet crashes and sexual assaults against girls after World War II. People in Okinawa have protested against U.S. bases on the island for years, especially in the wake of crimes involving U.S. service members. Cases of rape have especially angered the local population. Under Okinawa's previous governor, the Obama administration agreed to relocate the base to a less populated area of the island. But the locals and the current governor object to the relocation as well, because he says it would destroy the environment of the bay where they want to build it. President Trump may not care about the environment of that bay, but on the campaign trail, he said he wanted countries to pay for U.S. presence and protection, which in the case of Japan and Okinawa may be unlikely. That gave Okinawa officials some hope. Mr. Trump says if Japan doesn't pay more, then he's going to withdraw the troops from Japan. As far as Okinawa people are concerned, that's fine. If that's what he says, he would welcome that. It is unclear at this time where President Trump stands on the issue. The new defense secretary, James Mattis, is heading to Japan. His views on the issue also unclear. Well, uh, Japan spends an estimated one and a half billion dollars a year just to maintain uh, the base. According to the Pentagon, though, in total, Washington itself spent about uh, $5.5 billion on all its Japanese bases just last year.